Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about why you should use a test device when testing AdMob. Okay, so today's going to be a little bit different. There's no intro. Um, I have to start off with an apology. I have not been up to my regular production of videos over the last couple of weeks. One of my goals for this year was to get back into doing five days a week, five videos a week, uh, and I've been doing a really good job on it, and it felt amazing, you know, to get that momentum up and just get things going again. It's like if you've ever st started going regularly to the gym or started running on a, root a regular basis, you get momentum, and it's just, and you start to feel better because you're like, at least if other things are going wrong, at least I got that right. But last week, I was in the middle of a move, so I only did two videos. And this week, again, it was like I've been moving into this uh, to this new flat here. Eventually, I'm going to move out of the office. But right now, I'm kind of in flux between. So I'm working from here some of the times, and sometimes I work from the office. And even like the intro to the video is in the office, so that's one of the reasons why. And I'll go through. There's been a lot of changes with me on a professional basis, on a personal basis, some of the focuses of the company, which I'm sure I'll go through in future videos and I'm probably talking about it on this week's live stream. But today I wanted to talk about AdMob because I got a really good email uh, this past week from somebody. I won't say his name. I want to, but I didn't get permission. So that's the only reason why. So if, if it's your email, go ahead and put in the comments that was you. Or if you don't mind what it is, let me know and I'll put in the comments who the name of the person. But I just want to cover the basics. So I got an email from somebody a few weeks ago saying, uh, like a lot of developers, my ad mob account was limited about 10 weeks ago for potential invalid traffic. Coincidentally, right after I ran my first AdSense campaign, I followed I've fallen out of the revenue threshold for support and can't even get any response from them. Not sure what to do. Not sure what to do next. I use React Native, and the support for some of the other ad networks is pretty limited. And the best revenue seems to be with AdMob. That's that's what I find too. I try to use other ad networks too. AdMob works best for me. My question is: Do you think it would be a terrible idea idea to close my current AdMob account and just start a new one? Uh, my apps are making good traction with about 20,000 impressions a month and growing, and I really don't want to miss out. Thanks for reading. Thanks for all the YouTube content. It might, it's been super helpful. So it was a really good question, really good email, and I wasn't quite sure what to say because invalid traffic is something we always get hit with from time to time, right? So basically I said, um, I personally, I think it's a bad idea to close your account and reopen a new one, right? I think it just looks dodgy. And first of all, you have to set up like a new Gmail account and everything. It just sounds like a big hassle. So, um, and also they do other things that just your Gmail account from people I've spoken to. It's also your IP address. Oh, you know, and once they, once you have a bad account, then that just kind of follows you around. So, uh, so I said, I, I think it's bad. Have you tried to appeal? And then he responded back and we, we and he sorted it from no help of mine this is not about how i help somebody this is just i'm sharing this information because it's really good he said uh morning eric so i was checking my live ads on my own device however it turns out that just displaying them on my own device against is against policy too which i was doing pretty much every day i fixed it and my account went back to 100 percent fill rate within about 48 hours thanks for taking the time to reply and keep up the awesome videos so yeah Really good. So basically, what he was doing was he's still displaying the ads in his on his phone, uh, running it in development. And you know, if it's a test device, if something you use for testing, even if you're not clicking on it, you have to think about what people are paying for. They're paying for, they're paying for clicks or they're paying for impressions. So even just showing it on your own device, if that looks dodgy because you've got when you're developing, you're starting that thing up over and over again, you're gonna have like a high rate of of impressions, and it's just, it's just well. It's just as bad as clicking on it. Well, I don't think it's as bad as clicking on it, but it's still seen as you know you're spending somebody else's money to test on your device. So you always need to go through there and put the add the test device on there. And adding the test device is not easy. You have to go through Logcat, find out what the test ID is. Like that's the only way that I've been able to do. It. I've tried to find other ways of doing it, but usually when I run AdMob in um, on my test device, I'll watch Logcat. I'll see the um, you know the ADB logcat. I'll see it come through, and I'll see what my test device ID is, and I will add that to the code. And the problem with that is every so often my device ID changes, even when my phone hasn't. So like over time, you'll see my add test device. I just keep appending onto that, and it's just like this huge block of test device IDs. Even though I only have like a handful of phones, I have so many more on there. But 
it's the reason I wanted to share this with you guys, even though I don't have good lighting, even though I don't have the intro, even though I'm totally not prepared for a video today, is because I think it's super important. Uh, the person who sent this, again, I won't say, I'm not saying your name just because I haven't asked for, for permission, but if you're, you're okay with that, I think, you know, it's how he resolved it on his own. And it's a lot of you guys out there are having the same thing with invalid traffic. And that's one of the things to check. Check to see if you have the device ID on there because it's easy to, to miss that. It's easy like your device ID changes and you haven't updated your code. You're not watching the log cat to see if the device ID is the same and all that kind of stuff. So it's easy to do it. If you're not seeing test ad on your, on your own device when you're running it, then, then be a little bit concerned. Anyway, um, I'll be back with a normal formatted videos here at some point soon. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. We'll be doing a live stream tomorrow and uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you, dude, next time I talk to you.